I began to learn the shady history of Neutropolis shortly after my week-long <coughs> holiday in the Blue Pens. Most events happened before my time, but I was soon to get swept up in the events which had transformed this radical, free-thinking utopia into the polluted pit of boredom it is today. Something was up with the population, something unnatural and sinister. My life and theirs were about to change forever. I'll start right at the beginning. I was spending a little quality time walking a couple blocks and whistling a particularly annoying tune I had composed. Suddenly, from out of the smog... I spent seven lousy days in a Spartan blue box, basically for being too happy. And on every one of those days, those norm guys piped into my cell what can only be described as elevator music. Normalizing, they call it. Whew. Then, on the last day... Frustrated? Want to meet some like-minded individuals? Want to do something about the state of the city? Get a job and snoop around plush rest. You'll find a group in one of the dumpsters around the back. An empathizer. This was my first contact with people on the same wavelength. Stuff was about to change for the first time in almost 40 years. for jobs at Plush Rift. I think I'm talking to myself. It's already on. It's too heavy. It just doesn't want to open. What a surprise, it's still dark and cloudy. It would make such a difference if for just one day it was brighter. Then maybe everybody would smile, or maybe something weirder would happen. Nice cheap furniture made from recycled fruit rinds. I prefer it off. But the norms insist it's turned on. Do you crave for a plush posterior perch? Are you unhealthily heavy? Then come and work in our test department. Good shifts, lots of sitting, as much food as you can eat, and hear this, you get paid for it. 
see Mr. Brinkler right away. Remember the plush rest motto. If your butt's in a rush, buy the best by plush rest. It's locked and I don't have the keys. Besides, there's a norm outside. I can't get it to shift without the keys and I don't think I'll be seeing those for about a week. Whoever made this hovel thought very seriously about home security. Turn that TV back on, Mr. Kerr, and enjoy it! Okay, but if it pecks me, it's history. I'd better not. My attention span for activity is fragile enough without tempting fate by sitting. There's no point. I can tell you exactly what's under there. About two pounds of fluff and some past it pistachios. It just doesn't want to open. Let's see what's down here. Aha! There's some mu- ah! That's done it. I've broken it. Hey! What's going on in there? Turn that TV back on, mister, and enjoy it! What the heck is this? I think it came from my couch. It's making some really weird sounds. Spooky! I got it, but I'm not comfortable with the idea. How come any money I find in furniture always has sand stuck to it? Right, got him. Look at that bald patch. I'm sure the scissors were never that big. I seem to remember these coming with the apartment. <laughs> They're getting kind of lumpy. Gravity is an unkind mistress to even inanimate objects. Okay, it's important to be comfy wherever you go. Nice design. Robust. Ergonomic. I think this would be more useful in the next few minutes. Hey. Nice design. Robust. Ergonomic. What possible use could I have for a nodding bird with an attitude? the TV on. Yes, this might fool that rookie Norm out on the landing. Pecking bird plus stubborn remote equals permanently on TV. Yo, dude. This towel's good for keeping things hot or cool. Terrific insulation properties. Okay, I have it. Ah, uh, this could have been one of my greatest inventions. If only I had a real shark to test it on. I'll soon have this sucker out. Take a shower, baby. Ugh, there's still a horrible stench coming up from that hole in the bath. It's a little cardboard box. This must come in handy. 
There's a rat stuck inside. No way! They put concrete inside these things to stop them moving. It just doesn't want to open. Yeah, this is heavy enough to smash the glass. I think I've upset Mr. Rat. I need something small to put him in first. It's an old t-shirt with I am fat in the front and honest really on the back. Okay, I have it. More of a lo-fi really, but I get by with it. Oh, too loud! I'm gonna build deluge for my speakers if I ever see them. Great song though. Arnie, Arnie, Diddy, Arnie, it will. My car's got no wheels, but I'm still rolling. Hee <laughs> hee! Oh. I've trashed them. I blame that Brian Deluge. It's stiff, but I can manage it. I'll be glad to get out of here. Carefully does it. Don't look down. I guess it keeps them warm and out of the rain. A strange old man wearing bright yellow oil skins and a warm smile. Hi there, can you give me a lift down to the street, old man? Hey, less of the old prefix, please. Name's Di. If I were to take you down, what would you do in return? What do you need, Di? I have lots of stuff inside. How about a nice cushion? It must be hard sitting on that cold metal all the time. Don't worry about that, boy. The only thing that needs warming are my heart and my hands. How about a nice warm beverage? Okay, what flavor drink do you want? Coffee, milk, quickly. There's a good boy. See you a little later, Di. Sooner rather than later, I hope. Back to board still. It's almost empty. There's just a drop of scaly water down there in the bottom. I'll just let it boil. to the world's most normal dad. I didn't buy it, honest. It came with the apartment. I'll just pour in this water. Easy does it. A cup of black coffee. But I don't want it without cream. Ow! It's a bit warm. I wonder if this is how Bond changes his fingerprints. It's a jar of old white paint. Unfortunately, I added a little too much water to the mixture and it resembles fat-free milk now. Okay, I've got it. Yeah. 
Now I don't suppose it wouldn't hurt that much. The strong abrasive edge of the coffee will probably mask the chalky aftertaste of the paint. At least it looks like milk. Well, it looks like a cup of lovely coffee. Of course, I know different. This is my fridge. This food is months old. Yuck! It's stiff, but I can manage it. I'll be glad to get out of here. Carefully does it. Don't look down! Here you go, Di. Sorry about the delay. Hey, thank you, Sonny. I'll have you down in no time. Say, this coffee tastes a little, uh, unique. Yeah, it has a special secret ingredient left to me by the previous occupier of my apartment. Well, that's a secret you might want to let me in on one of these days. Di? Yes? Why is every day so gray? The air quality is very poor today. It's been like this for nearly 30 years. Since just before I began my new life in this cradle. I haven't seen the sun for decades. It used to cheer up men, women, cats, dogs, and plants. It all seemed a lot happier back then, before the great shake-up. The sun? What is that? I think my mom mentioned it once before she threw me out from cutting class and chilling out all the time. Didn't you pay attention in modern history classes? The sun is a huge slow-motion nuclear explosion in space, shedding warmth on the people of our planet. You say the sun sends warmth? I don't see it anywhere, you old dreamer. Dreamer? How dare you? It's up there, boy, and it's beyond this big cloud of soot that hangs over the city. The Great Shake-Up? I think I remember something about that in modern history classes. But there was something interesting going on outside at the time. It all happened one sunny day about 30 years ago. The day Saul Nistelux was blown into a million tiny pieces. Ah, God bless him. His brother Paul Nistelux bravely filled his shoes, then unveiled his approachable army of Norm Troopers. Things have never been the same since. But the pile of soot has been up there for as long as I can remember. Another one of life's little mysteries, son. Paul Nistelux is our leader, right? Sheesh, kid. Things don't change in this city on a daily basis. He's been leading us for years. So everyone likes him, right? They seem to. No one complains. I just keep myself personal up here. Why did you start a new life in this cradle? I'll just say that I wasn't totally impressed with the departure of Saul Nistelux. So I've declared myself a free state. Why weren't you impressed? Get out into the city and find out for yourself, boy. Open your eyes and dig some dirt. I might bump into you again soon. You seem the right type. Say, do you know what this throbbing, worry thing is? <sighs> I don't have a clue, but I feel a bit weird when I'm near it. Bye, Die, you crazy old guy. Better to be crazy than lazy, boy. I'll say au revoir because I got a feeling I'll see you again soon. You have a spark I haven't seen for ages. began to learn the shady history of Neutropolis shortly after my week-long <laughs> holiday in the Blue Pens. Ah, too loud! I'm gonna build a luge for my speakers if I ever see them. I'll be glad to get out of here. I don't want to use that smelly thing. Okay, I have it. Useless thing. 
Get back on before that norm outside comes in. This is Dai's cradle. He left it in a hurry. This is Dai's window cleaning cradle. He's gone somewhere. I can't get into it. Disturbance? That's the street below my window. I think this is the only shop in the street that's still doing business. Somebody told me there's an old power substation in there. This leads to my apartment. A great work of art. It really cheers the place up. Looks like even the norms get bored standing in one place for too long. <laughs> They've sent a robot to look after me. I'm truly flattered. It doesn't appear to be locked from this side. Convenient. It's good to be home again. You have violated the penal code, section 491223, section 86, clause 15, subsection 7, paragraph 9, note D, escaping an apartment. Turn yourself in to the nearest norm precinct for immediate return to the blue pen. Looks like a dangerous piece of electronics. This place is full of gizmos. That's the door of my Neanderthal neighbor. I better not disturb him. If I so much as touch that door, that Neanderthal will jump out here and kick my butt. If I so much as touch that door, that Neanderthal will jump out here and kick my butt. Maybe now's a good time to look at the map. Wow, it looks as though this dumpster is a very popular place. The prints are all different. Some are big boots. I wouldn't like to find out who they belong to. Now those slinky slingback prints there, I'd like to bump into the wearer of those. This must be the dumpster referred to in that strange note. I can't see any way in. There are some footprints in the mud near the base, but they disappear when they hit the wall. Maybe someone is having a little joke with me. Someone with a shoe on a stick. A conveyor belt is dumping trash into those dumpsters. Looks like a fuel can to me. Gallons of yellow paint. Agreeable color. 
but there isn't much around the city. I smell burning. It's a big bullet-shaped canister full of welding gas. It's a cog. I think it fell off that engine up there. One of those pedestal-like desks. A friendly but nervous face. Hey, my name's Harry Zontel. I've seen a few ads for a job in the test department here. Seems like the dream ticket I've been waiting for. Could you send Mr. Brinkler to see me, please? I'm sorry to be, uh, personal, Mr. Uh... Horizontal, but you seem to be a little on the slim side. I must refuse your application on behalf of Mr. Brinkler. Thank you for your uh, time and interest. Can you read, Ms? My t-shirt proclaims in large and garish letters the nature of my stature. I think perhaps you are trying to unsettle me from my precarious perch on the highest twigs of sanity. Your t-shirt bears no message at all. Good day. It's an old t-shirt with I am fat in the front and Honest Willy on the back. Ah, this should be useful in fooling that silly woman at plush rest. She seems likely to believe everything she reads. Hi, I'm interested in the job of furniture testing. Could you arrange an interview for me? Mr. Brinkler is the name I've been given. You look a little... how can I put this? Slim, our testers pride themselves on their corpulence. I'm not sure you would fit in. Can you read, Ms? My t-shirt proclaims in large and garish letters the nature of my stature. Ah, yes, that will do nicely. One cannot argue with the written word. I am fat. Indeed you are. I'll page Mr. Brinkler right away. Mr. Brinkler, there is an interviewee to see you. Shall we? Please go through to the plush rest hospitality niche. Make yourself comfortable. Mr. Brinkler will be along presently. Bizarre. I'm convinced that they rotate the face beat like paintings in a horror movie. door must lead somewhere interesting. A pot of petunias. The interior design in this room is faultless. What's that big fiery thing hitting the sea? What a dainty little light. Fits in well with those bedding plants. Very nice. I could get to like working here. This is without a doubt the most frighteningly comfortable thing I have ever seen in all my born days. I imagine if I were to buy it, I'd have to sit on it for the rest of my life to recover from the price of it. The screen is merely a projection screen, and not all that high tech. Hmm, I could really do with a nice cup of chilled water. Wow! All that commotion to get a pathetic paper cup full of warm, plasticky water. Blech! This stuff is totally disgusting. 
I think the only person this would be fresh would have to have spent the last 20 years of his life dedicated to eating nothing but dry crackers. These cups are terrible. As soon as you pick it up, it goes all squashy and leaks water down your arm. Ugh! This stuff is totally disgusting. I think the only person this would refresh would have to have spent the last 20 years of his life dedicated to eating nothing but dry crackers. This poster seems out of place amongst the high-tech wizardry in this room. Gosh, I can't believe that I've actually found something interesting. What a fabulous piece of avant-garde sculpture. Wow! It must be interactive. I can see a glowing green button right here on the front. This green button must be the creature's eye. I think the sculpture must be a metaphor for jealousy or something. I guess I pressed the green eye. Well, here it goes. I've never seen such an evocative and compelling rendering. The green eye, the boiling rage, it all adds up to one of the most brilliantly observed and executed things I have ever seen. This stuff smells gorgeous. Rich, dark, and warm, just how I like it. Smells like that give a man a thirst. Ow! That stuff's boiling! Whoa! Ah! Oh no! Ah! Ah, oh, Mr. Harry Zontal. I see you've made yourself more than comfortable in our hospitality niche. You certainly know how to make an impact, don't you? I'd like to be the first to congratulate you on getting a job in the prestigious Plush Rest Test Department. I haven't seen such finely honed destructive skills as yours since, since old Gordon Smasher Hodgson worked here. And he could break things in his sleep, literally. I think you'll fit in here just fine. Follow me, and I'll take you to our cosy little test department. There you can have a look around. Great! Right, now that we're in my office, Mr. Zontal, what can I tell you? Well, Mr. Brinkler, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm a glad to... Please, call me Tiddler. Everyone around here does. It helps to create the kind of working family atmosphere you'll come to appreciate. Now, tell me, why did you apply for this job? What have you got to offer us? Um, how come they call you Tiddler? Are you a bit short on something? I think it's irony or something like that. Tell you a secret, boy. I've never really understood it myself. Um, I like to use furniture on a daily basis. I've always been interested in its construction and its, um, components. Well, we here at the test department are more interested in its deconstruction, if you get my drift. <laughs> That's a little joke sort of thing. Don't worry about the components, though. Why have we no need to worry about the components, Mr. B uh, Tiddler? Well, we have what we call waste engineers employed here. At Paul Nistelux's own expense, mind you, to make sure that the place is always kept spotless. They don't seem to like anyone messing about with broken furniture. What exactly are waste engineers? They're the guys who make sure that none of the stuff we bust is left around for more than a minute. They're a division of the Norm Trooper Army. Why that? Not sure, really. Maybe it's an insurance thing. Splinters and such can be deadly, I understand. Leader Paul makes the orders, we just follow them. I seem to have broken quite a lot of furniture myself today. I found some strange stuff among the debris. Perhaps that's why they like to get it out of the way quickly. What kind of stuff did you find? I discovered a couple of gizmos. I don't know what they do though. All I can hear is a strange whispering noise when I hold it close to my ear. Here, listen. Oh yes, I've got it. Maybe it's a device for making a strange whispering noise. No, hang on. On second thoughts, I feel a little weird when you hold it up close. 
Maybe it's a relaxation device, sir. Or I'm all sort of drained. I ain't never seen one before, and that's how good our waste engineers are. So they are norms. Something very fishy is going on around here. No, son. You came here to destruct test furniture. If it's fish you want, try the Mint Mall. I hear they're having a sale at the moment. Why would Paul, our uh, glorious leader, be interested in a furniture factory? Especially the handling of waste. Oh, I don't know. I never really thought about that. All I know is that since the day when his brother died, Paul has been interested in furniture. That's when he took over the company's affairs. Thanks for all that. Go and have a look around, kid. It's a bit quiet today, but I can't go into that. Take as long as you like. Oh, and don't break anything. There's a spot of trouble concerning that particular aspect. Right, I'm off to a meeting. Look! This must be Paul Nistelux. Weird looking guy, isn't he? Portable. Look! Judging by all those winking lights, I'd say that there's an alarm on this case. Touch this and die. Charming! Nice little radio. The tuning knob's missing, though. Yeah, it looks like it's opera or nothing. It's using a current receiver plugged into the back. Might be why it sounds terrible. I can use this to beam power to a current receiver. High-tech stuff. It's a weighing machine. The smallest weight is 250 pounds. That's Tiddler. Wow, I bet he's proud to be featured in New Porker magazine. Looks like a blueprint for a chair. It says here, our most successful product. Well, I guess everyone needs chairs. Looks like a blueprint for a chair. It says here, our most... It's Tiddler's certificate, showing him to be a member of the testers' union. Tiddler's medal for winning the Neutropolis Eating Competition. Wow! These things chew up all the garbage before it gets thrown out into the dumpsters. Hey! Get away from there, fat boy! No one but waste engineers are allowed to use that! It's one of those ambassadors of mirth, a norm trooper. Excuse me, Mr. Waste Engineer, sir. What? Oh, these grinders sure look big. Why do you have to grind everything up? Some very sensitive equipment is produced in this factory, boy. We do not wish the outside world to get a hold of that technology. It's all safely contained in those dumpsters you may have seen outside. So you grind it all up? So we do, as you say, grind it all up. How, totally hypothetically of course, how would I get into one of those dumpsters? Well, uh, hypothetically, I could put you through the grinders, which I will not because you are not allowed to touch them. But that's the only way, through them vicious blades and up the conveyor belt in bits. Why would I have to go through in pieces? Is there no way of turning these machines off? Of course there is, fat boy, but not while I'm here. Well, when do you leave your post? I only leave to collect the debris, in order that the secret of the, uh, the... the equipment doesn't leak out. 
so you go out whenever there's some broken furniture lying around here. Good. You're a fast learner, boy. You'll go a long way here, provided you don't keep mentioning the sup the equipment. Would that be those gizmos hidden in the furniture? May I ask how you came by that knowledge, citizen? That is highly sensitive information! We are here to stop the people of the city discovering that! I'll go back and test some furniture then. Yeah, you do that. This guy looks like he means business. Why won't you let me pass? Why can't I go in there? Mr. Brinkler said I could look around. Bad. What is that in there? Can I just have a peek? I promise I won't tell anyone. It'll be our little secret. Please. Bad. Now, that's one huge battery. Jeez, this is heavy. I can just manage it. I think this guy's got the right idea. If you have a problem, sleep right through it. I think I'm talking to myself. It's humming softly, suggesting that it's using power. Someone's ripped the plug off this wire. Now this looks extremely comfortable. It's totally silent. Not a realistic idea. I think it needs power to be of any use. Congratulations! You are now the proud owner of the unique Slumba Swift system. No more tossing and turning. No more plumping up the pillows. Simply program in the amount of sleep you require. Turn it on and let the bed do the rest. You'll sleep like a log and awaken fresh and ready for a great day ahead. He's a huge guy. He looks a bit upset about something. How's it going? I, I'm not too well, my well-upholstered friend. We're all on strike, hence the relative quiet around this department. No one is going to break anything, especially the picket line we plan to set up after the meeting that's going on now. What are you on strike for? They plan to replace us with machines. Apparently, they have something to hide. Something to do with a gadget one of our guys found in a chair. How come they want a new tester if they're going to replace everyone with droids? Well, it was advertised before this happened, wasn't it? We've been a body short for some time. What sort of gadget? A timing gadget or something. Collected information relating to how long people sat on their sofas for. They reckon it's sensitive, so they're gonna replace us all with more precise droids. So there's no debris around the place? No one's breaking anything? No, nope. the only debris is that in Tiddler's office. He's real proud of that. I'll be on my way then. Cheer up, it might never happen. Actually, I think it already is. This one doesn't seem to be locked. This one opens. Books. Elizabethan costume and fire starter. Got him.
I wonder what this leads to. belt must belong to one of the testers judging by the stretch marks might be useful in some obscure situation this wire is blocking the way The glass case has no top. I can climb inside. The famous remains of some furniture. Don't see what the fuss is all about. It's Smasher, one of the all-time top testers at the factory. Wow, my hero! Got it, strange little thing. This thing's useless. I might need that current receiver, though. Now this looks extremely comfortable. It's totally silent. Hmm, if I wire this to this, yes, I do believe I have the ability to generate power. If I have a power source, the bed will work now. I'll just leave it here as a potential power source for the bed. Well, it's humming, so I guess I have it working. Whoever sits on this baby is visiting the land of Z. Uh-huh. If I lie down there, I'll never get up again. chew up all the garbage before it gets thrown out into the dumpsters. I'm not doing anything until I can shut off those ugly saw blades. Cool! Those lethal saw blades have stopped now. at your head right now. Um, uh... How did you find this place, you soulless pussbag? 
I'm not a norm, honest. Prove it boring, boy. I've been to the blue pens, imprisoned by the norms. I expect you were just there doing your job, torturing people, displaying any will of their own. You are total scum. Don't lie to me. One false word and my guys will ventilate your head. I, I hate the norms. They lock me up for just whistling a cool tune in the street. It was a Brian Deluge track. Brian is a wanted man. How do I know that you haven't come after him? How did you find this place? I was told about this place a couple of times. It seemed my destiny to end up here. Who told you about this place? I want names! I want evidence! Tell me now or cash your chips in! Well, I met a crazy window cleaner by the name of Dai. He told me that furniture testing can lead to greater things. He said that there were probably a lot of nice people at the furniture factory if I were to fall into the right circles. So you met Dai. He is one of the founder members of our group. If he liked you, I suppose I should. I was in the maximum security blue pans. The normal ones are full. Apparently, it's high season for different behavior at the moment. I have heard of the blue pens place. There are many conflicting opinions about them. A lot of speculation as to what Paul is keeping there. Some say that he hides a great secret there. Well, whatever he holds there, the people seem very nice. I didn't meet any of them, but one of them gave me a note telling me to come here. Let me see it. So, it might be true. What? What is true? I will tell you if you prove your worth to our cause. You must perform two subversive tasks which will help me with my research, ultimately leading to revolution! I accept the challenge. Tell me what the tasks are and I'll do anything to show my hatred of Paul and his Norm army. Especially something, uh, did you say submersive? I said subversive, you fool. One. I want you to broadcast a video of Brian Deluge on national TV. Here's the video. Two, I want you to paint the cubic sculpture at the Mint Mall a lovely yellow. Could you write that down? Then when I've done the tasks, will you tell me what you believe the note is about? Okay. You were on your own all along. That's cheating. Yes, you can't be too careful when you're on the wrong side of the law in this town. I think I trust you now. Go, perform your duty. So what do I do? Aren't you going to give me a special gun or something? A, a magic sword, at least? You're on your own! Sorry, what is your name? Kent. I'm sorry, Kent. I can't supply weapons. We are a pacifist group. You're on your own now. I can only give you one thing. A code phrase. There's a sympathizer at the mall. To get help, just say, If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. You and I together? Sheesh! I don't want to wander off and get lost. He looks like a security guard. Well, I'll get past him. Yo! What are you doing? I need to get into the building. I have an em... I don't recognize your facial furniture, boy. And I don't see a badge. Well, I'm new and I don't have a badge. But I have a very important... If I had a brick for every time I heard that, I'd be able to build a wall so high I wouldn't have to talk to your sort. Leave while you still can. I have a badge. I forgot to mention it when I first arrived because of your attitude problem. The only attitude problem I have is with vermin like you. Get lost, kid. Otherwise, I'll take you somewhere you'll never find your way back from. Forgotten something? Thought of an amazing line of persuasive argument? Please let me in. You'll get into trouble with your superiors. I don't really think so, boy. Guys upstairs employ me for my imposing presence. And the only presents you'll be getting are attached to the end of my legs, you little rat. I 
bought you a gift to make up for all the aggravation I caused earlier. Why, cheers, son. It's nice to know that a surly, unpersonable, and downright rude attitude is appreciated by the younger generation. I love success. It can transform a mediocre day into a golden-edged memory to pass on to subsequent generations. Some little critter has made a mess here. I got it. It's messy stuff. Someone let a dog do doo-doo, dude. Don't try this at home, kids. Guys in suits make me sick, with all their papers and airs and graces. I'm busy, go away. I'm busy, go away. I could get to like pretty girls like her. There aren't enough in this city for a guy like me. Excuse me. Can I help you? I've been told to bring you this video. I see. Well, it's nothing to do with me. But this is a TV station. Yes, but you need to take it to the studio. Oh, okay. Sorry to trouble you, miss. Um, can I ask if you want to go out when this game is over? My boyfriend won't like that. I forget about him. I'm more fun to be with. Uh, my seven feet tall bodybuilding boyfriend won't agree. Oh, yeah. You're probably right. Never mind. It was just a thought. Can I speak with Mr. Johnson, please? You have an appointment? Uh, no, but I do have a very important videotape. Wait a minute. Mr. Johnson, sir? Ah, uh, yes? There's a man to see you, sir. Well, send him over. You can see him now. Thanks. Thanks for your help. That's what I'm here for. Excuse me, Mr. Johnson. Uh, I don't want to take up much of your time, but... Uh... Ah, what do you want? I'm extremely busy right now. Speak up. Don't take all day. Well, I, uh, I have this video that I've been told has to be played today. What is it? Who sent you? Uh, I don't know what's on it. The orders came from, uh, Mr. Nistelux himself. All right. Well, I'm too busy right now. Take it to the studio. Here, you'll need this card. Thank you, sir. Be gone. I'm very busy. It's a fire door and probably alarmed, so I won't touch it. I don't want it. It won't budge. I suppose I really do need an ID. It won't budge. I suppose I really do need an ID card. Open Sesame! There's some real cool stuff here. Whoa, I can make some great home movies with this junk. This is BT2. There's no tape in this one. Hmm, this baby seems to have its mouth full with the tape. There's a big label with BT1 on it. This looks like a real sophisticated piece of equipment. It's a fully automated broadcast console. It makes sure stuff happens when it's supposed to. A door is a door in my book. Just push to open. So what? G. 
She looks very boring and unfriendly. Beat it, kid. I'm far too important to talk to you. He's a geeky computer guy. He has a dirty ID badge on his oh-so-clean shirt, but I can't make out what it says. Excuse me for interrupting. Who are you? Mm, what's it to you? Go away, I'm working and far too clever to waste time talking to you. What are you doing? Well, what does it look like? I'm mending this computer. What of it? Uh, nothing, I guess. Hi, I'm a little stuck up in the control room. Can you tell me the password for the edit computer? Get real. I can't divulge that information. Why not? I am solely responsible for what is broadcast. If I were to give it out, all sorts of subversive material could be aired. I'd be in deep. I'm no subversive. Where do you keep the password? I keep it very close to my heart. You may not be subversive, but you sure look weird. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you the password. I'm weird? You're not much help, are you? That's not my job. Now leave me alone. He's a geeky computer guy. He has a dirty ID badge on his oh-so-clean shirt, but I can't make out what it says. Like this guy just took a bullet. I'll throw it and keep the badge. There's a name. Ben Holen Elliot. Holen. That's a funny name. It won't budge. I suppose I really do need an ID card. Open Sesame! Okay. And that's coming on the 5th of the month. Over to Barbara. And now we have a very important video clip of the latest best-selling single by Brian Deluge. I'm a huge fan. You must paint the sculpture in the mall next. It's vitally important for my theories and research. Have you any idea what these are? I found lots today. They all seem to be hidden inside furniture. I've seen little crushed up parts similar to these in the trash thrown out of the furniture plant. So you have an idea then? Not right now, but leave it with me and I'll try to work out what it does. I have my suspicions already. Right. I'll get back amongst it. See you later. Try to apply yourself, Kent. I know you are capable. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, Kent.
It's a fire extinguisher, I think. It has for norm troopers use only written on the side. Weird. Hmm. I just can't seem to make it work. Riot control device. Aim at the base of the nonconformist. Ensure that lever A does not intersect its dangle angle with the potential arc of rod C. Press all buttons labeled blue. Right. I need to press the three buttons at the bottom while I throw the two yellow levers at the top. No, I just can't press all the buttons and throw the levers. I need something to hold the buttons in. Yes! Tying this around here will keep those three buttons depressed. Cool! Yeah, I can lift it now. I saw a magic trick using one of these, but I don't think I'll demonstrate. It won't open! These are identical to the thing I found in my sofa. Sinister. They appear to be specs for those little gizmo things on the desk. What do they do? Three norm snacks. Whoa, let me at them. It's stuck to the wall. What a waste of a great offer. Why does someone want to watch some dumpsters? What a bunch of garbage! Haha! <laughs> Get it? I can watch the factory machines at work from here. Fascinating. <sighs> it looks like some tester has successfully destroyed a piece of furniture. Bravo! Bravo! I wouldn't describe this as paradise. Come to think of it, I've no idea what paradise is. Gallons of yellow paint. Agreeable color, but there isn't much around the city. Hey, that's cool! This thing has its own auto siphon facility. Should be filled up in no time. It's full of yellow paint now, ready for spraying. By the look of him, he's blind, the poor guy. Hello? Hello, young man. Can I interest you in some of the greatest matches the world has ever seen? Um, I'm a little low on cash at the moment. Well, that's just fine, son. I don't accept cash anyhow. I only deal in collectibles. Uh, like what? Stamps? Paperweights? Coins? No, obviously not coins. Uh... You seem to be an intelligent gent. Go find me a nice novel I can immerse myself in. 
<laughs> nice dog. Is he a pedigree? He certainly is, friend. He's most definitely all dog. Name's Deepa. Deepa? Yeah, Deepa dog. Only time he'll bark is when he hears other dogs. He does it loud though, because of that bull horn I got slung under his belly. Guaranteed to scare the worst products out of anybody. Really? Is it that loud? I'd love to hear him. I'd show you, but there aren't any other hounds around. He needs other dogs to get his mean streak going. Is it a mean streak a mile wide? Wider, wider, wider. This here dog's got me banned from more places than I've forgotten about. Here's one bark and shazam, he transforms into a maniac mongrel. He wants a bit of stick. Books you want? But you're, uh, uh, how can I put this tactfully? You're as blind as an egg. First impressions aren't always what they seem to be, my good friend. In fact, sometimes they're the total opposite of what they appear. So what you're trying to say is that you can see. Well, you're as fast as lightning, aren't you? I can see all right, but I can't see colors. Red, ha, blue, <laughs> means the total sum of zero to me. I see the world in arty farty black and white. What kind of novel do you want? Well, that would be telly. I like prose, rich, flowing prose, English stuff. Stuff with brocade and crinoline in it. Uh, stuff like Shakespeare, perhaps? Can't say I've heard of the boy, son. Is he one of those new wave authors? One of those guys who don't know how to write proper? Uh, not exactly. Bye now. Goodbye, young man. This is about Elizabethan costume. Is this book to your taste? Well, bless my soul. I'll have this one and no mistake. There's just a small question of the matches. Oh, sorry. Here, reckon I'd forget my own name if I hadn't already. Yeah, right. Thanks for the matches. This thing looks vicious. What's that thing he's wearing? I think I'm talking to myself. Citizen, may I ask where you located that extinguisher? It's Norm Equipment, serial number F092. I, uh, found... I sort of found it, sir, in a bush. Sort of. Thank you, Citizen, for putting that extinguisher down. What? What are you going to do? I'm afraid, Citizen, that I am going to have to comply with Citizen Directive Nick 808 and ask you to hand it over. Otherwise, I'll have to use my forceful voice. I came top in forcefulness at the Academy. Thank you for showing concern, Mr. Norm. I could have swallowed that and choked. The city is a safer place with guys like you standing around in it all day. All in a day's work, Citizen. Thanks! So, Norm, sir, do you know how to discharge that extinguisher you've just confiscated? That is sensitive information, citizen. I am not at liberty to tell you that I have passed all safety tests and pretend emergency simulations. Nor would I tell you if you asked. Damn! You guys are always so impenetrable and mysterious. So there's no way that you would tell me what kind of disaster crisis it would take for you to set that off. No, Rooney! Public service building fire regulations are a closely guarded secret. It's more than my job's worth to tell you when and how I would react to a combustive incident. Have I given you a badge? You burned me there, you tough cookie, Norm, sir. I could really warm to you. I don't blame you for not telling me, and I don't want to get you fired even though it's not totally flare. Ha! <laughs> Goodbye, Norm, sir. Stay normal, citizen. Hey, get away from there, citizen. Our glorious leader did not design this beautiful sculpture to be used as a climbing frame. I will not stand around and watch you defile it with your cheap footwear. I just wanted to get closer to become one with this uh, remarkable piece. Get away from that. Cheers. Why don't you go for a walk? I'll make sure nothing bad befalls the mall. I like you. Dry, ambition, responsible. 
but to be a Noor requires merciless training for years just to handle the stress I take each minute. I can't jeopardize a citizen's safety by putting a dangerous situation that only I can handle. Are you sure about that? Sure, I'm sure. Don't distract me again, citizen. What exactly would you deem a dangerous situation, O oh server and protector? What might make you leave your post? Let me have a think. Wild animals. Definitely wild, rabid animals. And if, uh, if I was sick, you know, if I had the sniffles or such. Neither of those are very likely to happen in this warm, homogenized shopping environment, though, are they? No, I uh, suppose not. I'll be off then. And I shall protect good citizens such as yourself. I used to read Dazzle all the time. Great articles, candid pictures. It's locked. This guy Ray's a sorry looking individual. Hey, what's up my lardy pal? Uh -huh. I hate this place. I'd rather be anywhere else in the whole big wide world than right here, right now. Why don't you take a break? I can't. I'll get fired. I hate my job. Why don't you try for a job elsewhere? You should have no trouble in today's thriving labor market. Can't do nothing properly. I'm just a walking waste of water. Why, I can't even do this simple job right. <laughs> <laughs> this sad individual looks really fed up. His badge says he's Ray. What a nerd! He looks really uncomfortable in those clothes. Look, look at those collars. You could spear fish with those. I heard that. Watch your step while you still can. Hiya, I'm Kent. I don't know any Kent. Sure you do. Heather told me. Yeah. What did she tell you, man? Oh yeah, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Sure thing. Sounds about right. I'm Brian. What do you want to know, man? Brian? Brian, call me that, Kent. My name is Brian. Uh, like brain, but different. Sorry, uh, that Norm doesn't want to leave the waffle sculpture. Well, why don't you try and divert him? If you can't outsmart that dumb ox, you can't join the group. And if you don't join the group, I'm gonna have to sew your mouth up so you don't talk, man. Diversion, right? What can you tell me about your subversive group, Bry? Nothing you need to know right now, Nosy Parker, so just shut up and keep quiet, Kent. You'll know more when you earn the right to know more, know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. I thought you were a great rock megastar. Why are you working in a dump like this? Sorry, no offense. None taken. This is a cover, Kent, so the norms don't suspect me. I also use it to ship underground music to the people. Like your stuff? I'd like to hear some. Later, man. Just do your job now. Hey, Dailies, did you see yourself on TV? You look gnarly, dude. Oh, nuts. I didn't. I'm at work, dummy. And I always look gnarly, man. That's my job as guru and mentor of the revolution. Brian, I think you're neat. Being as cool as you must be hard work. Stop brown nosing, Kent. I may lose my lunch if you carry on, and I'm not responsible for your dry cleaning bill if I do. See you later, Bry. It's Brian to you, Kenty. All right. Ciao.
Well, I wouldn't exactly say that this is the best music selection I've ever seen. These are on special offer. These are on special offer. Hmm, a CD of a one-man clap band. Great. I'm sure Brian won't mind if I borrow this for a minute. I need a disc player to play it. Oh, hello again, Kent. Bry! I wish you'd get on with the job and stop pestering me. Could I just... I couldn't sort of borrow this, could I? Look, Kenty babe, you either borrow summer or you don't. You can't salter. And yes, yes, you can salter borrow it. Just salter bring it back when you're done, all right. See you later, Bry. It's Brian to you, Kenty. All right. Ciao. Cool! I love the real axe guitar! What a nice piece of solid state! I thought these were illegal and banned by Paul Nistelux. Okay, Kenzie, just go ahead and help yourself. You've got no manners and no understanding. And no mate. Oh, hello again, Kent. Bry! I wish you'd get on with the job and stop pestering me. Could I just... Why doesn't your stereo work, Bry? There aren't any speakers. Boss took them to stop me airing my stuff. See you later, Bry. It's Brian to you, Kenty. All right. Ciao. Hello? Has someone escaped from the loony bin? Hello, miss. Do you enjoy working in here? <laughs> you do stuff like that and it'll stunt your growth. Uncle Jeb was only 32 centimeters tall at the age of 30. Are you listening to me? This here's the tow-away zone. Pack up your bait box and hightail it. You're as mad as a marble. You're no hope whatsoever. Goodbye. These boots are made for walking. Indeed. Wow, these are great. I could have a pet without the tedious stuff, like walks and feeding. Hang on, what's this? Defective. Partially deaf. Great. I should pay for it, really, but I can't at the moment. Hey! I think not. I don't like your sort in my mall. Out! Wow, these are great! I could have a pet without the tedious stuff, like walks and feeding. Hang on, what's this? Defective. Partially deaf. Great! A cheap imitation made from fiberglass. A huge bin of toy gliders. Got one! I should pay for it, really, but I can't at the moment. but I think I'll need several dogs out there. He can be a diversion. I just need to get him to bark.
Wow, these are great. I could have a pet without the tedious stuff. Like, I think I'm talking to myself. I should pay for it, really, but I can't at the moment. Got one. Works, but I think I'll need several dogs out there. Got one. I should pay for it, really, but I can't at the moment. Long-handed shears. Okay, I have them. I don't, however, have enough money to purchase them. This sign is surprisingly aerodynamic. I do believe it will actually fly. I've nothing to chop. Okay, I have him at last. Here he is, but how do I make him bark? Part of the PA system. I've nothing to chop. Should do the trick. Ouch! Hey! But I need to leave it on to make them stupid yappy puppies strut their stuff. <laughs> one of those ambassadors of mirth, a norm trooper. The base of the waffle is the best place. Hang on a minute. Hey, Norm! Never mind that pack of wild animals! Come and attend to this raging inferno! Pronto! Everybody, lie down! Take short, panting breaths, and don't move! Make your way to the nearest exit! I will deal with the fire! Do not panic! Crackers! 
crackers and asthma? Hmm. I wonder if it's a secret stash of Brian's records. If I strike a match, I might be able to see a way out of here. Let's see. Ah, light. Yeah. Those crates are full of firecrackers! Citizen, I want an explanation from you. I... I can't explain. Don't send me back to the blue... Where did you get that firefighting equipment? Ever, ever since I used it, I, I feel... Well, I feel weird. Come with me. I think I know some people who can help you. Well done, Ken. You have proved that you are capable of acting on your own initiative. Just what we all wanted to see. Not exactly all weather. I was kind of happy with the progress we were making. But we weren't making any progress, Brian. Things weren't so bad. I've sold a few copies of Zen Throb. The message is already out there. I think we should wait for the groundswell before we further expose group safety by taking further action. There is no groundswell, Brian. Kent is part of the group now, our man in the field. There is no argument. How do you feel about that, Ken? I don't like this. I want to go home. Shut up and listen, Kent. Well, not too comfortable, to be honest. I thought you would all be pulling in the same direction. I thought there would be more of you. And I thought you would have all kinds of weapons and gadgets, like in the movies. Kent, it's just group dynamics. We all share a vision of the same goal, but our opinions differ on the best route to get there. We'll be just fine. The only gadgets we need are our minds and spirit of difference. So is there any news on the gizmos from the factory? What do you reckon they do? As yet, I have made limited progress. I have a hunch that they might be something to do with people's behavior patterns, but I can't quite pin it down. Do you think you might discover their secret soon? It seems a little sinister that no one knows exactly what they do. Well, we think that we might know where a man is who could help us out with this problem. Your note was a clue. Oh yeah, the note. Who was that from? It's from Saul, not quite dead twin brother of Leader Paul. He's still alive? He is, and somehow he knows about our group. So what do we do next? The next thing you do is infiltrate the ordinary outpost and liberate Saul. His knowledge will be invaluable at this time. Could I just... It makes more sense for you to do it on your own, Kent. You stand more chance of succeeding. It's bound to work because it's exactly what the norms least expect. Dead, right. And you expect me to pull it off alone? I will wait for you on the roof in one of his cradles. He will bring you safely down to Earth. They'll finger me as soon as I walk in. I'll be lobotomized before you can say scalpel. No. I have made a few alterations to Norm 2782's uniform. It will be a perfect disguise. When you leave, you must wear it. Why is this Saul guy so important? I know he's Paul's twin brother and stuff, but if he's been locked up for the 30 years since the Great Shakeup, he's gonna be whacked out of his brain. His note says different. Kent, we must free him. You are just the, uh, man for the job. It's kind of looking that way, I must admit. Okay, as much as I think this is crazy, I'll do it. I'm nothing to lose anyhow. Your name will be Legend. Good luck, Kent. Free Saul. Work your way to the roof of the Ordinary Outpost. Die will be waiting for you there in one of his cradles. I don't want to wander off and get lost. Boring looking fountain. By expert deduction, I would say that it's currently out of order. Real 
ugly looking son of a witch. I bet he's real dangerous. Probably got no respect for himself or anyone else. This looks like a caricature of Brian Deluge. His neck looks a little wrong though. His Adam's apple doesn't look like a kneecap. Another stern-faced Norm. Excuse me, fellow Norm. Go ahead, Norm 2782. Do you know what these things are for? I got no idea, Norm. Why don't you take it up to research? I'm just a desk-bound resource. I'm not even allowed to go to the men's room. Is that why you turned off the fountain? Well, no. It's out of order, but that's fine. The sound of those tinkling droplets might cause a little, uh, you know what I'm, uh, a kind of a spillage. Where is research? I'll give you the code, Norm. One, five, seven, two. Tap that into the keypad right over there, and the elevator will take you directly to the lands. One, five, seven, two. You got that? One, five, seven, two. Thanks, bud. Stay normal. I'll be off to do some work then. Yeah, you do that. No luck. Wrong code. Yay, progress. I wonder if I can find Saul now. One of Paul's army of saddos, his name badge says Conrad Smulch. Greetings, fellow friend of Paul. Yes? Hello, Norm. Could you enlighten me as to what this gizmo is? Where did you get this, Norm? These are controlled items. I just kind of found it. And you are not aware of its purpose? Nope. Then I suggest you stay that way. You have performed correctly and quickly in bringing this to me, Norm 2782. I will inform our unparalleled leader of your initiative upon his arrival. This deed might help in his choice of punishment. You have safeguarded a sensitive secret, one that could ruin Paul's uh, uh, evening. I'll be off then. Brian CDs, they have a sticker on them saying controlled substance. Inspirational choice of album name, Zen Throb. A scalpel, nicely made, very sharp. Ow! Okay. It's a large tube. There seems to be a door leading into it. Weird. This door leads inside. Kinda looks like he's enjoying it. You're so lucky, pal. I expect that makes you forget about your terrible cold. There are straps holding the guy in, made from some kind of seatbelt type material. This wizardry of electronics appears to monitor the subject as he is tortured. This represents the victim's mind or something. It looks painful. What with? A scalpel doesn't do a lot on its lonesome.
I need this to curb the waves of claustrophobia. Let me out of here! This looks like a great telescopic ladder. Okay, I hope the guy that put it there notices it's gone or there could be a nasty accident. This rope goes right down to ground level and the pulley looks sturdy enough. The city, the little people going about their business, oblivious to the sinister secrets of their police force. It makes me feel proud to be doing all this for them. One of Paul's army of shadows is... Greetings, fellow friend of Paul. Yes? Can you tell me what you're doing to that guy in there? I am testing the human mind's tolerance to rock and to roll. I am expecting the man to expire quite soon. Expire? You mean like die? What happens then? What will that prove? I will then need another subject. And it will prove that this type of music is extremely dangerous indeed. Particularly when played at insufferable volcanic volumes. Pardon? Uh, stay normal. Hey, the prisoner has chewed through his bonds and made a run for it. Where in the world is he? Is he dangerous? He's in the corridor. He's knocked himself out. Hmm. Interesting. This rock and roll music evidently turns people into savages. Send him back to the processing floor in the tube, or I will send for a fresh subject. I'll be off then. Some of these shards are covered in sticky green stuff. Disgusting. My assistant must have hit the window squarely with his face. Carefully does it. I don't want to smother myself in nasal fluid. He's knocked himself senseless smashing into that window. Ugh, there's nasal debris everywhere. Okay, but I don't want to carry him far. He's so heavy. It just doesn't want to open. The door has opened. Nothing seems to have happened. A capsule has arrived. The door has opened. I don't think it would be a good idea to put him here. That fiendish scientist would find him. Where can I put him? Okay, I'll just drop him in here, and then I should be able to send him back to the processing floor. He slumped nicely in the capsule. I'll soon have him out of the way. That's it, he's been whisked away through the tubes to the processing floor. Good luck, my brain-crazed friend! That's the glider I used to liberate the dogs in the mall. This is one of the dogs I used at the mall. Someone is really on my trail. 
It's a little plastic bag containing yellow flakes. The tag says, paint with damping properties developed by underground movement. Collected at crime scene Mint Mall. A spanner, functional, nothing too impressive. Got it. Why is so much stuff broken in this city? It looks like there are two cogs missing. It's a waste grinder. Could be useful. Looks like someone was repairing it. I use this in the factory and mall. I think those are my fingerprints. Whoops. Hey, that's Brian from his video at the TV station. This must be when I blew up the mall. <laughs> I did a really great job repainting at the mall. Well, it was boring without that special touch of color. Ah, the fireworks display at the mall. That sure brightened up the city. We must do that every year. I need to enter a code to use it. Yay! Progress! I wonder if I can find Saul now. Excuse me, fellow Norm. Go ahead, Norm 2782. Hi, you couldn't tell me the code for the processing floor, could you? Why'd you need that floor? Forgotten, have ya? No, stay normal. I'll be off to do some work then. Yeah, you do that. This tile looks a little loose. I wonder if it's important. Well, the fountain appears to work now. Isn't it pretty? A picture of Paul Nistelux. It has been taken from his best side about 10 years ago and has been touched up by computer. The man's honesty evidently carries through to his PR department. Excuse me, fellow Norm. Go ahead, Norm 2782. Looks like I fixed the fountain. Indeed you have. I must go away now. Rather sudden, I know, but I have an urgent appointment with Armitage Shanks. <laughs> piece of paper with 1312 printed on it. Yay! Progress! I wonder if I can find Saul now. I would like a prisoner sent down to the research labs. Okay, I'll send an email directly. Don't move, 2782, or you'll get us all into trouble. 
Looks like I'll have to take a trip there myself. The email network isn't working. Stay here! And don't touch anything! It's a big red mushroom of a bat. There's a little sign next to it with override written on it. What the? This guy looks like he's managed to weather the storm a little better than those other saps. I wonder what goes on inside these tubes. New people! Look at their faces! They look like angels or something! Their eyes are flickering all over the place! My god, it's Leader Paul! Or it could be... Norm 2782, why are you here? I'm on guard here. You have failed in a most comprehensive manner, Norm, by allowing a dangerous and different subversive to ruin one of the city's primary shopping facilities. I also find you in a restricted area. As punishment, you will work the next five weeks on corridor duty on one of the pen landings. Surely you can get into no trouble there. I would also advise you to forget what you have seen here. Norm 2782, camera crew. Camera crew, Norm 2782. Guy's plump and well buffed. Looks like he's thoroughly efficient. That means he won't miss a trick. I gotta throw him off my scent. Norm 2782, we're putting together an in-depth documentary about you and your brief attempts to stop the evil path of subversion, and your time in captivity at their hideout, and how this affects you on a day. What? We'll be filming and listening to you at all times with hidden cameras and mics. Please try to act as naturally as possible. Hey, guy, I appreciate the attention, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Thanks and all. Maybe another day. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry. Paul didn't tell you. Oh, he's commissioned this work. He wants some footage to show the population what a dangerous job you norm guys do. He said you were a perfect example of how police action can, can, can really screw you up. Okay, I guess you should get on with it. I'll try to be as natural as possible. If I do anything weird, it's probably the after effects of my trauma. I was deeply affected. Thank you for your cooperation. Just pretend I'm not here. Be yourself, please. Your comfort is our pleasure. Hey, you! Yes, Norm 2782? Why don't you take five, buddy? You're looking a little gray around the eyes there. I was awake and alert for 12 consecutive days when Saul Mr. Lux passed away. Sleep is a luxury to me. Me and Macbeth, everything in common. Plus, I can't leave my gorgeous equipment unattended. Thanks for the offer, though, Norm. Say, don't you need to go to the bathroom? Your waistline looks a little bloated. Plus, if you hang on to your, uh, toxin, you might make yourself sick. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I went just before you arrived. Uh, I, I'm not too regular, to be honest. Must be the odd hours that I work. 
Is there any time when you aren't recording? Changing a tape, for example? No, no, it's continuous. All kept in yonder black box by my feet. Totally solid state, no moving parts. Ah, the miracle of silicon. Ask any lifeguard. Is there anywhere where you can't see or hear me? Or do you see everything? Everything, Mom. Everything. I see everything. But don't worry. We won't be using the meteor shots. I'll go back to my duties then. Make sure you get my best side. You seem a little shifty, though. This guy is beginning to bug me. No can do. It's locked. I can't. It's locked at the moment. I don't have the keys. I'd rather not even try to. Insanity isn't contagious, but that doesn't stop it being inflicted upon others. Another one of the many elevators in this colossal building. This must be where the norms chew the fat and brag about the size of their children. The prisoner ledger, let's see, Mr. Abnormal, doing time for impersonating Paul Nistelux, 30 years ago. Aha, uh -huh. that must be Saul. I'll leave it right where it is. The buzzing nerve center of this smooth operation. Lots of paperwork and paper clips. The roll top opens. Emergency use only. UDDUD0 initiates prisoner evac. Some freaky norm speak, I guess. Okay. How can a pin board be out of order? UDUDU2. I wonder what it means. I have it. Got it. There's more paper underneath. Dud duo. Strange. I always thought it was the dynamic duo. The last letter is a zero instead of an O. Got it. Wow, these guys are about as efficient as I am at getting their stuff together. Must be a hundred pieces of paper on this. A ball of paper, ideal for playing office basketball. Okay, it's mine. A ball of paper. Ideal for playing office basketball. I'll straighten it out. D-U-U-U-D-2. Warning. Feature no longer operational. Is this a warning to dudes?
fairly straightforward, I think. It's the layout of this floor. This appears to be a layout of zoom tubes. Complicated stuff. There's a bump on the letter O. Got it. It looks like a little black blob stuck up on the ceiling there. Yeah, I can just reach it. It's a tiny bug. There's a dark bit in those shadows down there. Got it. It's some kind of foot pedal. Can't the guys bring prisoners and peas around here? Duo. Strange. I always thought it was the dynamic duo. The last... Some freaky norm speak, I guess. D-U-U-U-D. Is this a warning to dudes? Okay, it's moved position now. Okay, it's moved position now. Dull. It appears that someone can't spell dull. Dumb and boring. I'm glad I don't work here. I can't. It's mine! Dull! It appears that someone can't spell dull. Dumb and boring. I'm glad I don't work here. This is where they put dirty trays and stuff to get them clean. Try, you unwanted technological trinket! <laughs> I don't think that will trouble me again. Try, you unwanted technological trinket! I 
I don't think that will trouble me again. Cry, you unwanted technological trinket! <laughs> I don't think that will trouble me again. Cry, you unwanted technological trinket! I don't think that will trouble me again. Emergency use only. U D D U. Some freaky norm speak, I guess. Hmm. I think I forgot to do something. Okay, it's moved position now. <laughs> yes, I think I've cracked it. I appear to have sent Saul and a couple of the other inmates to the roof. Judging by that siren, I think I'd better get up there and help. Sorry, die. Try not to die. Bless my soul, you've liberated Saul. Welcome back, Kent. You truly are a brave genius. I don't think you realize just how difficult that was. I almost got stuck in that misery factory. I see. Where's Die? I thought he was coming back with you. He kind of met with an accident. I didn't see exactly what happened. He told us to go on without him. No matter. He is our cause's first martyr. We must turn to Saul for our guidance now, while Brian composes our anthem of triumph and loss. Is that what it is? I thought he was washing some pans in a washing machine. No matter. I must continue my work on the gadget you brought here. They are part of the mood magnet, the terrible machine that I am solely responsible for. In what way are you responsible, Saw? I created a terrible machine. A machine which sucks out people's ideas and free will and stores it for later inspection. From what Kent has told me, I would guess there is one of these gizmos in every piece of furniture in the city. People are drained as they sit at work or in front of the TV. The data then goes through one of the mood filters like the one we were in, Kent. Then it is sent on to the mood magnet proper, a machine too complicated to recreate. If Paul can't make another, where is the original? It is at my secret labs. But your lab has been fragged. The Saul Nistelux Memorial Stadium was built on the still-smoking crater years ago. Just before the great shake-up. Shake-up? When everything in the city changed. Dino's all about it, bless his soul. Then Paul must have built a bigger and better one. I believe it could be this new stadium you speak about. If Paul has ripped off and built this amazing mind suction device, how come we aren't as dull as the other folks? Luckily, there is one flaw in the magnet's design. A small piece of metal in the body is enough to earth and protect an individual. That is the sole reason we are different. Ah, so that's why Norm 2782 has had such a sudden change in his life. The shrapnel lodged in his brain. It cured him. 
much like the drill bit that snapped and lodged in my leg during one of my first experiments. That would certainly do the trick. Crude, but very effective. I have an old-fashioned hip replacement. And you, Kent? I have a ball bearing stuck in my ear. Been there since I was able to walk under chairs without banging my head. Kind of makes warped Kent sense. So what's our next step? How do we free everyone from your machine? If we break the data link at one of the booster stations, it should weaken the magnet's grip on the populace long enough for them to realize what is going on. Damn my evil twin. It was only to be used in jails. Where do I find a booster station? Give me a clue and I'll knock it out. I'm feeling kind of frisky. There should be a strange noise when you are near one. It sounds a little like this. I'm on it, Saw. watch TV. He must be the most normal guy in the city. Hello, nice day. It's a terrible day. Oh, just trying to be friendly. Well, go and be friendly somewhere else. Can I buy one of your TVs, please? If you must. You don't seem very motivated, considering it's your job. What's that got to do with it? A pleasant sales manner makes a happy customer. Why do I care about happy customers? So they'll come into your dumb store again. No one ever buys a second TV. Suit yourself. Are you going to sell me one or not? Only if you show me your cash. Ah. I need to inspect your premises. What for? That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Well, you might have, um, wire wraps. Say what? Wire wraps. They're deadly, you know. They chew cables. If one of them took a liking to your shop, before you know it, all these TVs could be useless. They're pretty useless now. Go away and let me watch TV. Well, I may be back later. Don't hold your breath. Huh. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? I wonder what's inside. That's a mighty small TV. I don't really need one, but it seems like a good bargain. This could lead somewhere useful. Trouble is, I can't reach it. Oh, nice day. It's a terrible day. Oh, just trying to be friendly. Well, go and be friendly somewhere else. Do you have a remote for this TV so I can try it out? Why? It works. Can't you see that? But I want to try the other channels. What for? Oh, never mind. Wait here. I'll go and find it. I can reach that hatch now. Hey, I think this is the TV shop a long time ago. I think this is a really ancient TV set. Wow, weren't they primitive in those days? I wonder what this is. I don't have any idea.
The plaster has fallen away here. It seems to be a way into the attic above the power station. It's a sturdy carpenter's mallet, ideal for flattening stuff. I got it, a lovely balanced mallet. Aha! A control box! Let's take a look. This is where the mood magnet circuits are fed from the turbine. My work begins here. I just can't figure that out yet. I bet there's something useful in here. It won't budge. This just has to be useful. I have it. Now this must do something. Oh, nothing happened. What a letdown. This is bricked up good and tight. I guess there's no way out. It's a light bulb. It's off. It's boring. Okay, I can unscrew it. The contacts where the light bulb connects to. Ah, oh, the poor little thing. Someone strung him up and left him to die. Ah, uh, let him down. Anyway, this wire may come in handy later. I'll give him a big hug. Ah, uh, oh, his eyes just fell out. Gruesome. What goes in here? Hey, these roll nicely into this coin slot. Whoa! Action! Wow! We have power! All systems go! Great, now to connect the other end to something. This socket should do. That would do any good. Short circuiting, that was easy. I don't think that would do any good. Excellent! The circuit board has power now, and my work is nearly done. Hey, what's happening? Let me out! Oh man, this 
just isn't my day. It's like a huge piece of rubber spaghetti. I've got it now. It's locked, but I can hear a couple of norms inside. It's a norm trooper's truck. I reckon they have a prisoner in the back of it. I further suspect it might be my fellow adventurer, Die. The plank has gone right through the grill. I expect the engine has been trashed. I think I'm talking to myself. This is the sole air intake for the truck. Our city has no concept of functional design. The smell from this grill suggests that it sucks air out of my bathroom. Yeah, I could connect this pipe between the wall vent and the truck air intake. I don't believe it, Norm. Have you been eating bean brunch foods again? I haven't, man. I was keeping quiet, I didn't want to bring it up. There's little point in causing aggravation when we're locked together in this truck all day. Now please be quiet and try to control your emissions. It was not me, no. Leader Paul will hear of this disgusting incident if his nose doesn't detect it first, that is. You did! I didn't, Matt! Why not just come clean, eh? You've got a backside like the top of a brown sauce bottle, you. You can talk! Smells like a sewer in here. Oh! Oh, no! I think I'm gonna spew. Please be quiet, old revered colleague. If it gets much worse, I might know. Oh, that's it. I can't hold back any longer. Sorry, mate, but you've asked for this. <laughs> oh, you forced on me uniform, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Di, great to see you. How are you? A bit shaky, son. That sure was a foul smell you subjected me to. Near knocked me clean out. I'm sorry, old friend. Let's go before other norms arrive. Hi, everyone. I bumped into an old friend. Di, you're back. How are you feeling? I just want to sleep. No time for that. Go and help Ryan with his measurements. I believe he's on his way to the ordinary outpost. You sure are a hard taskmaster, Miss Heather. See you all later. What's with the long faces? I got die out. We all accomplished our mission. Saul's a little downhearted. Blowing up the mood transfer substations hasn't had the expected or desired effect. Where are Bry and Die? They have gone to take a few measurements for our next objective. So exactly what happened? We all did our jobs, right? Destroying the mood pumping stations must have made some difference. There is no discernible difference. Everything seems pretty much as it was before. Where do we go from here, then? Do we just give up? Saul has another theory. It concerns the Pollutatron, that huge smoke-belching structure you passed on the roof of the ordinary outpost just before our beloved founder Dai gave his life for our cause. 
What about it? We must somehow gather enough dried flowers to cover up that terrible wallpaper. If my rich uncle visits, he won't understand your complete allergy to seafood. Um, quite. I think what Saul is saying is that we should attempt to destroy it. Something is happening to his mind, Kenneth. I think he's put too long in the mood filter. And just how do you propose that we do that? This new deodorant increases sweat dispersion by up to 50%. It's been tested thoroughly on fish with more than satisfactory results. A missile, Kent. We have to prepare a missile which can strike at the very heart of Paul's scheme. Okay, a missile. What exactly do I need to do this time? I need some explosive toxic substance, a detonator, and something to make a long tube out of. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Exactly what will that achieve, blowing up that pollution device? It will let the rest of the world see what has been going on beneath that pall of soot that has hung over the city for so long. It will also remind the people what the sun looks like and the beneficial properties it possesses. Hey, we're gonna see the sun, right? Just in time for Paul's mighty meeting up at the stadium. So what's up with Saul's gourd? I think his faculties are decaying very rapidly now he has left the mood filter. So our savior is destined to be a drooling vegetable? That's about the size of it, Ken. We will have to make do with the resources we have. We've come too far to turn back now. Back we go. Good luck, Ken. It's one of those ambassadors of mirth, a norm trooper. Later, citizen, later! One of those hippie space opera things. What a blast! It's a model of the Statue of Liberty. A cheesy, unwanted gift, no doubt. I wouldn't fancy a swim in here. Mr. Otter doesn't seem to mind it, though. It's a traffic cone, one of several trillion up top on the street. No thanks. A matchbook that the blind man left behind. I'll just take three. They can't be much more use than that. I already have some. Wary as I am, I can't leave a chick in a fit. I got it. I can't reach it from here. Grab it now. Hey, it's in two parts. I'll just take half of it for now.
These once held paint. Empty now. It's a big bullet-shaped canister full of welding gas. Toxic storage? Is this where they dump all the old elevator Muzak records? That won't open. They're probably rusted shut. I could drag it a little way, but probably no further than I can see. Well, it seems to be in working order. When I'm finished, I'm going to tell my agent to get me some safer games. Each has a small sign saying danger, toxic, explosive. There's a small skull and crossbones too. Apparently people live on this river. They make rafts out of junk. Crazy people. Yes. I can use this rope, these planks, and those drums to make a raft. They're too heavy and awkward to lift, but I may be able to roll them. Looks like I'm onto a winner here. The raft's a little lower in the water than it was, but it'll float. I managed it. Great, Kent. You seem to have everything. I'll get to work right away. There's no time to waste. remembered what I couldn't. I have a backup of my mind in my labs. It will be somewhere under the stadium, 
Someone must go and get it. Restore me back to my original condition, and I could be a great help. So, you want me to fetch this brain backup device of yours, huh, Saul? That's right, Kent. You swim along now. I knew you'd say that. You're my hero, Kent. Would you do that? We will all be there at the stadium. You'll recognize us because we will all be wearing disguises. Go, and good luck. We will see you there. We won't be able to talk to you, though. Just get under the stadium, lad. I'm sure you'll find it. Oh, could you take Brian's guitar with you? He made it himself. He needs it smuggling onto the stage from beneath. Anything else? You want me to take a few pictures, show a few kids around? No. Just take Brian's guitar, deliver it to the stage, and get Saul's brain back for him. We can then confront Paul in front of all the population of the city. Let's see what he makes of that. See you later, Ken. Yeah, see you all later. I think I'd prefer to avoid them. I'm a fugitive now, and fraternizing with the enemy is sure to get me arrested. Look, you lost your goggles. You should go down there wearing mine as your punishment. I, I don't like it in places like that. It's way too dark. There might be dangerously different citizens lurking in the shadows. There could be thousands. Yeah, since the sun came out, the mood in the city has been very different. So, are we both agreed? We just stay here and make sure no one goes down or comes up the hole. Affirmative. I need to get away from these guys. Being a fugitive is hard. I wonder what these switches do. Ouch! That's live! <gasps> <gasps> about enjoying life. It was only a scratch, son. You've got to expect that sort of thing in our line of work. I'm proud of you, boy. How do I get into the lab? I could tell you how to get onto the roof of almost every building in this city, son. But when it comes to depths, you're asking the wrong man. How do I get onto the stage? Well, my cousin Lula got friendly with a producer type. Never thought about that route? Good-looking fella like yourself shouldn't have too much trouble. Thanks for your help. Have I helped? Say, there might be life in the old dog yet. Heather, you really should consider going blonde permanently. Thanks, Kent. It's not a good idea to be seen with you right now. We're so close. How do I get into the lab? Sol will know more about that than me. Try not to look suspicious, Kent. How do I get onto the stage? At a guess, I would say that elevator set in the middle of the stage links up with the sewer system somewhere down below. Thanks for your help. Try to hurry, Kent. The suspense is irritating. Whoa, not looking too good there, Saul. You okay? I'm fading fast, Kent. Hurry and get the concert started. Then we'll attend to my problem. How do I get into the lab? There must be a secret wall, Kent. Find where the strangeness converges. That's one, where one. I'll be. Testing. How do I get onto the stage? I seem to recall an elevator, but that might have been elsewhere. It's all gone a little bit pear-shaped, my old cauliflower. 
testing. Like Gladys One, from two, school. Three. She was a bit peg. Sorry, please hurry and find my mind for... Thanks for your help. I'm doing my best, son. One, one. Norm, how's Testing. your day been? One, two, Still three. pleased with your newfound world view? I certainly am, son. I feel fine. I'm just looking forward to the tour, the act, the band. This is the first festival I've been to. Such a feeling of warmth and well-being and sharing and caring. You know, for the first time in my life, I feel emotionally moist. How do I get into the lab? Probably behind a secret wall or in a wardrobe or something, eh? Bound to be. That's where I put it. Can you see my tan developing? One, one. How do I get onto the stage? One, two, that three, elevator three, in the center of the stage might do the trick. Thanks for your help. Hey, no problem. And if there's anything, you know, you ever, you know, kind of like want to, you know, talk about, well, come and see your Uncle Norm. What a nerd! He looks really uncomfortable in those clothes. Look at those collars. You could spear fish with those. I heard that. Watch your step while you still can. One, one. Hi, Brian. Testing. Are you nervous one, two, or worried? Three. This could be your big break, after all. If you so much as scratch my guitar, you're in for a very big break, Kent. Now get lost. How do I get into the lab? I've got more important things to worry about, Kenty. Like the chorus in this song I'm about to play. You do your job and leave me to do mine. How do I get onto the stage? I don't know, do I? But I'll be there when you work it out. Thanks for your help. It's OK, Ken, but don't take it for granted, right? A pair of sophisticated low-light goggles. Okay, I've uh, borrowed them. They work best in the one, dark. One. Testing. One, two, three. Tiny energy cells. Admired for their compact design, no doubt. I can't quite reach them. This must lead down into the sewers. I'm a little afraid of the dark, but here goes. These bars are in a bad state. They couldn't stop a crawling baby. Right idea, I think, but it looks way too dark back there. I need a light before I go any further in these tunnels. Tiny energy cells, admired for their compact design, no doubt. I can't reach them up there.
Yes, it fits that hole nicely. I think I've made a step. Great! The power indicator has gone to the full mark. I'll put them on. Yeah, I can see great in the dark now. I'm not sure where to blow. Here goes. Hello, Mr. Alligator. Take it easy. There's a forgotten room back here. I don't think anyone will miss it. I may have attracted unwanted attention with that last cavalier move. It just doesn't want to open. It's way too heavy and awkward. I can't see a use for it. Come out from down there, whoever you are! Being underground is not normal! I can wait all day! those mood filter visions. Hot, too. Hey, the sign slides into the wall when pushed. What's that noise? That should keep that slab down.
an old data safe. Or unsafe, judging by its present condition. The visions are stronger here. I feel weird. You have not been here. What a weird poster. Pointless. I'll rip it down. I should be able to squeeze through here. Wow, some kind of machine with a brain inside. This has to be what I'm looking for. Got it. Man, it's heavy. It's a nice fire axe. Okay, I got it. I feel a lot safer down here already. The brain machine is too large to fit through the hole. Now what? I should be able to squeeze through here. This guy seems to be the sensei for those ninja turds. Wait a minute, haven't I wandered into the wrong game? Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, I can probably pick the lock with my axe. I think there's something in there. Still too heavy. Let's have a look inside. Uh-huh, some kind of suit. This may come in handy. A black PVC suit with snaps and fastenings all over it. Kinky. The label says emergency suit. Protects wearer from most types of adversity. I should be able to squeeze through here. Uh, hi, is that you in there, Saul? Yes, sir. It is. Who, might I ask, are you? Name's Kent. I'm here to rescue you. Again. Again, Kent? Yeah, I rescued the real you, but you're as mad as a marble. Why? Why am I not mad? I was always such a state man. Paul put you inside the mood magnet. You've been there for 30 years. No, then it's no wonder. Get me to my body and I will download it. What have you been doing? How have you survived? I am inside a microwave oven. Its properties have protected me from the convergent port beams. Otherwise, I would have been cooked up here. I noticed the heat in here. Just be glad you don't have armpits. It has, however, allowed me to absorb much information. I know now more about the city than any other being. That knowledge could be useful, O oh nebulous noggin of Metropolis. How can I get you out of here, Saul? 
You're too big to fit through that hole in the wall. I am inside this oven. I am considerably smaller than it. Great. Then I'll have you out in no time. First, you should find something to keep me in. Something that will protect me from download. Download? Yes. I have absorbed so much information that I will immediately download into any available mind. You must protect your own mind by putting me inside something protective. What do you know about these strange hallucinations? These are the raw thoughts being channeled from the stadium, which is really a huge collection facility. Some of the kings are leaking. By a million to one chance, I was left where their paths converge. I have absorbed all the information. How do I get us out of the sewers? I seem to have accidentally entombed us down here for eternity. Don't worry, my little fool in a china shop. There should be a lift around somewhere, probably walled up long ago. I'm off to explore. I'll be back, honest. Here goes. Gotta be quick. Put me somewhere safe as soon as possible. I should be able to squeeze through here. Oops, even if I survive all this, I'm a dead man. Okay, I'll take it. It's an elevator door. I figure I'm under the stage here. The door moves a little, but I'm not quite strong enough to open it. I reckon I can jack the door open with this. for haberdashery?
Got it. The best place to stand it is round the front. The ground is firmer there. It's definitely an engine. There's some little cogs loose inside. There. I managed to extract that little cog. all now. Hey, it looks like it was made to fit. Lucky, huh? This baby fit straight in there. I don't want to get caught yellow-handed. I think I'll leave it here. Now they will never know the secret of the special mood magnet blocking formula. There goes the doggy. Don't try this at home, kids. What am I supposed to do with it? There goes the glider. You took your last flight, pal. It's a soap impregnated dishcloth. Nice color. I got it. That's wiped him off. There. These fingerprints are gone now. 
All that's left behind are a few beads of moisture. Seven eight two. Why are you here? I'm on guard here. You have screwed up in the most comprehensive manner, Norm. Not only have you allowed a dangerous subversive freak to taint one of my most prized shopping locations, you have also lost the evidence which we had gathered to convict this mad felon. What have you got to say for yourself? Good. It's about time someone made a stand against your stupid, selfish laws. And who would you suggest could do such a thing? There is no better way of life than the utopia I have created. Me. Me and a few of my friends. A few friends? A few riffraff get an idea into their heads and they think they can change the world. I'm afraid it takes more than that, Norm. How about knowing that your brother still breathes, and that you live in mortal fear of him, and the people's reaction should they find out he's still alive and well? How do you know all this? He's right there, in the mood filter. As you see, in capable of functioning in any capacity in this city. I have no choice but to strip you of all tokens of office and send you to the pens to reflect on your mistakes, pending a rather unlikely change in my mood. I'm not scared of you or your pens. Shoot your best shot, Paul. Ah. Things begin to make sense. Do you know the penalty for masquerading as a norm trooper boy? It is a lifetime sentence in the mood filter. From now on, this room will be your second home. But you will see it from Saul's point of view. From inside the tubes. You see, people like you are far too valuable to kill. You provide an indispensable service, sifting the ideas sent in by the furniture transmitters. Ideas that the population of this city contribute on a daily basis. My brother is one of the best in this capacity. It is ironic in a way. He is now part of his own invention. An invention made to keep criminals off our streets. To let them provide a valuable contribution to our city's well-being. I thought it too good an idea to waste on criminals, so I secretly gave it to all our people. The idyllic city you live in is the result. Now, guards, take him away. Put him in the cubicle next to Saul. I shall enjoy watching his slow decay in my trophy cabinet. Not so much a window, more a slightly transparent piece of wall. Another Norm Trooper on guard. Well, if he's as gullible as Norm 2782, I might be able to sneak out of here. Ah, another cell. I wonder if that's where they keep Saul. Hey, Norm. 
Hey, I want to use the bathroom. We take you once in the morning and once at night. Keep it tight and be quiet. How do I escape this hellhole? No one ever has. I hope that's improved your day, weirdo. Should have stayed in your apartment like a good boy. Please let me out. I have someone to rescue. Is that some kind of joke? Shut up, Nutson. Otherwise, your life could get real hard. This must be the John, but not like one I ever saw before. I guess they don't like people getting comfortable around here. I don't reckon these flimsy chains could take my weight anyway. One of them looks really worn. This is a family game. Plus, I'm not sure what it does. It's a food hatch. Sort of like a dumbwaiter, I suppose. There's nothing on the tray at the moment. It can't be feeding time yet. Why would they want to put eating utensils on such short cords? I can see the city out there in all its polluted splendor. Surely they could do something to brighten the place up. Something along the lines of the Great Fire of London, perhaps? These are like the things I saw in that room full of tubes. It usually means something very odd is about to happen. He's holding up a sign. Bring three mood transmitters into this chamber. Get them now, lad. It's Saul. He's holding up a sign. Bring three mood transmitters. Here's a small scrap of denim. This must be what Saul uses to send messages on. Sure beats toilet paper. The iris valve must have ripped it off. Luckily, there's no blood on it. Here's a small scrap of denim. This must be what Saul uses to send messages. I can't think of much to write about. Besides, I have no ink substitute. This bench looks like it was replaced yesterday. What, from here? Get real! Still making strange noises. Good. I need to get it out of the bench first. Got it. Here's a small scrap. I can't think of much to write about. Besides, I have no ink what for. There's nothing on the tray at the moment. It can't be feeding time yet. They're attached to the machine.
I need to get it out of the bench first. I can't get it out of the remnants of the bench. Can't do much with it till then. It's Saul. He's holding up a sign. Bring three more. What, from here? Get real! What, from here? Get real! Uh, no, it won't break. I need to give it a really good smack with something. It's begging for punishment. What for? Hey, hey, that's done it! The sucker's busted! Damn it, too much strength! It's out, but in pieces. Silent pieces. No point, it's not working. Who are they trying to kid? I bet most lard asses sleep with their heads under the food nozzle. I ain't hungry. Maybe I could smear the walls with it or something constructive like that to display my objection to being locked up. How? Get real! I can just get them to my mouth if I stoop. I can't think of much to write about. Besides, I have no ink substitute. I can just get them to my mouth if I stoop. They're attached to the machine. Yeah, maybe sitting down and thinking the situation over might help. I need to get it out of the bench first. I just seem to be collecting junk around here. Ugh, got it!
all. He's holding up a sign. Two more now. Brave lad. What with? What with? There's no way out through there at the moment. He's holding up a sign. Two more now. Brave lad. Everywhere. Norn, get me out of this hole or I'll die the most tasteless brown death ever! I think you missed my ear. Excuse me? Could I just... Just get on with what you came to do, boy. Disgusting though it may be. I was just wondering if... Hurry, will ya? I have to go stand in the corridor some more. Well, why don't you go right ahead and stand... Nice try, citizen. I may be stupid, but I'm not smart. Sheesh! Okay, but only if you promise to look away. Okay, I have it. I'll just hide it about my person. Okay, mister. That's your cue to squeeze and leave. Stay clean, citizen. Next time, you will be in hot water. Literally. Yeah, like I'm terrified. I have it. This thing might have a use. I'd be normal if I knew what it was, though.
I can't think of much to write about. Besides, I have no ink substitute. He's holding up a sign. Just one more. I hope you've done your homework. Hey, yeah! I'll do Saul's trick. I'll write him a note in gravy. He's holding up a sign. Just one more. If I hold this up, Saul might be able to read it. The 
if I hold this up, Saul might be able to read it. This thing might have a use. I'd be normal if I knew what it was, though. What, from here? Get real! Got it! Cheesy rubber hand puppet. They're either meant to be rats or little horses. It's quite hard to tell. The craftsmanship is a little, uh, ambiguous. Got it! good for keeping things hot or cool. Terrific insulation properties. I don't want to use the smelly thing. I have it. If I wrap this around the food, it will keep it frozen. Cool. The food is kept frozen wrapped in this wet towel. heavy enough to smash the glass. Doing, bozo. Well, you dirtied it. You clean it. 